Hi viewers, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Foxshaw 12 volt battery pulse charger. I had done an earlier video where I used this to restore a dead car battery but in that video I didn't quite do a preview of this charger. I've now had it for over two years. I'm doing this for two reasons. First is the fact that there are various levels of lockdowns across the globe and there's a substantial risk of early battery failures due to lack of use and risk of sulfation as well. Secondly, having used this product, I've seen a number of comments online coming from a place of misconception. So I intend to clear those in this review. I'll cover it in two parts. First is why a smart charger or something of this nature is needed. And lastly, I'll end with the review itself. Now let's get this. Car systems or the car alternator is not meant to charge a battery that is flat and where you're driving stop and go traffic you don't necessarily have the opportunity to run your car over a prolonged period so that the battery is properly charged at certain voltages batteries begin to form lead sulfate crystals that's what's called sulfation those lead sulfate crystals coat the surface of your battery over time, those areas that are coated with lead sulfate crystals will stop taking a charge. Only portions of the cells of your battery will be working. This sulfation is mainly supported by the fact that at less than 12.4 volts, electrolyte stratification occurs. So what that means is most of the electrolytes gravitate to the bottom of the battery and because of the heavy concentration of electrolytes, that's what leads to the crystallization process to form lead sulfate crystals. So in essence, the the upper part of the battery plates are only what functions, the lower parts become sulfated and do not necessarily receive a charge properly. And with sulfation, it gets to a certain point where the battery fails prematurely. So in times like this where there's restricted movement, this is definitely something I've started to do. Take my battery out of the car once in a while and give it a full charge with, with this. That should improve longevity of batteries. So as mentioned, I've had this for two years now, so yeah, not the first unboxing, but just to note that this package or this packaging doesn't say Foxshore anywhere. Actually, there are a number of brands that are similarly packaged. It's straight out of China, but it's been a very good tool, which is why I'm, I'm actually doing this. So you have the device itself. It has a manual, which I've lost, but I did a scan before I lost it. It's not in the best of English so but it's comprehensible you're able to make out what they are trying to to say in terms of build well feels good i mean you wouldn't compare it to some of the top of the range battery chargers but yeah plastic these leads feel a bit cheap including the plug they are also short not too long those are areas of improvement but then hey i've had this for over two years now and it's worked every single time it certainly ticks the durability box despite the okay feeling of some of its parts it will do any battery except lithium batteries in general so agm gel sealed maintenance batteries and lead acid you know wet batteries it will charge all of them this is rated for four amp hour to 100 amp hour batteries now it has certain functions there's the normal charging function and then there's the pulse charging or the repair function so it's able to use that to break down those lead sulfate crystals so that your battery lasts much better positive terminal goes in first negative terminal last once you do that it gives you a reading of the battery itself so this is reading 12.6 volts at 12.6 volts your battery is somewhere around 90 percent charged which is why this is showing that it's above 80 you notice it's graduated in 20 percent so it's not able to show 90 percent so now that we've connected this we'll go ahead to turn this on so once you turn it on the red light begins to blink it shows you the amperage is charging at this is the normal charge function current voltage is applying to the battery is 30 13.7 and then it's at that amperage so under the normal mode it features three charging modes first is the normal second is winter and then third is summer battery should be charged according to the internal temperature of the battery so you don't apply the same amperage irrespective of internal battery temperature so this device is able to automatically detect the internal temperature of the battery and use the best voltage and amperage that is meant to charge the battery at its current temperature 
when the internal temperature of the battery is high amperage should be low and vice versa this is what makes this a smart charger and ends up prolonging the life of your battery the charge duration depends on the capacity of the battery and it's shown on the screen the repair function is used for batteries such as this so when you have a battery size that is less than 15 you're supposed to use the repair function because if i leave this for a bit it's going to say it's full when it's not necessarily full and the reason for that is because of surface charge when a battery is sulfated or has sat low on charge for a long time and only certain portions of the lead plates are available to take a charge once you connect it you know in a little while it's just going to say that it's full because plates that are exposed have been fully charged so to speak so it gives an erroneous reading that the battery is full to use the repair function you simply push this button and once you push that button it's going to show you this pulse mode and what it does is that it pulses current through the battery and that that breaks down lead crystals even when you're using this pulse function it does charge the battery as well typically a battery of this size let's say a motorbike battery would take about five hours to do this pulse repair on a car battery would take about eight hours usually the manual says that when the pulse repair function has stayed for up to 24 hours it will switch over to the regular charging function but that has never happened so that's one con of this device so you might just leave it on pulse repair for the proper duration for the size of the battery and after that just push this button again and it goes back to the regular charging it's advised that when it displays the full sign you still leave it for an hour to provide float charge so this device charges a battery in three phases first is the constant current phase or the bulk charge phase this is the period at which most of the lost charge is restored to the battery and then it moves to constant voltage at this stage is topping up the battery like after the bulk charge you may notice that the battery will be able to start your car and all of that but this next phase of topping up the battery is actually important to ensure that you take the voltage above the level at which sufficient occurs and then lastly float charge to make sure that it hits a hundred percent so i should mention that you can charge your car battery in and out of the vehicle if you want to charge it in the vehicle first of all you need to establish whether the car is negatively altered most cars are negatively altered and how you find out if your car is negatively altered is is there a lead that goes from the negative battery terminal to the chassis of the vehicle that means the car is negatively altered if you see a lead that is going from the positive terminal to the chassis of the vehicle then it's positively altered so for negatively altered batteries simply connect the red lead to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative lead you connect it to the ground on the chassis to prevent fires, you just need to ensure that that's far away from fuel line. Positively added, you should connect the negative terminal first. So you connect the negative to the negative terminal and then the positive lead you would connect to the ground. Some of the misconceptions and, and common errors is the fact that you can connect this to a sulfated battery and it tells you the battery is full. But how to take care of that is simply to use the repair function. Also, there's a limitation to the voltage of a dead battery at which which this charger would work if your battery is less than 8 volts this charger would not be able to charge that particular battery the good thing about this charger is that it's very affordable it's cheap right and it works it features overheat overcharge and short circuit protection so you're not going to overcharge your battery by even if you leave this overnight Another thing I love is the fact that it has that pulse repair function. I once had, had the battery in my power generator run flat and sit flat, you know, for a prolonged period of time. And when I called the technician, he was so certain that I was going to need a new battery. I just hooked it up to this and after desulfating the battery, the battery came back to life and I'm still using the battery. It's been over, over a year since that happened, All right? So it really works. However, let me also say that there are certain limitations. So this will not restore a battery that is damaged. If the electrolytes in the battery is low or short, you need to top up the electrolytes before you go ahead to charge the battery. But if it's bulged, right, the plates 
are damaged and all of that this will not restore that battery so it's not a silver bullet overall i think this is a very good tool to have because it just prolongs the lifespan of your battery just in case you want to get this i'll leave a link in the description so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video if this was helpful do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much and see you on the next one cheers